I've had this Pixel 3 for about three weeks now and just want to give you my honest opinion, my overall feeling about this particular phone. Uh, and in this video, I'm not going to really touch on everything, but I do want to kind of give you the overall scope of uh, what this phone meant to me. Uh, now, this is the regular version, so as you can see here, you're not going to find any type of notch on the top of the screen, which is what I prefer. Uh, and also, the the size of the phone, it's a hand, it's easy to fit in the hand. Um, the screen here, as you can see, when you blow it up, it's going to still keep its form. It's not going to have any type of notch at the end. Let's go ahead and jump into the specs here. So the display itself, it's a 5.5 inches. You get 443 PPI. You have an always on display and it has HDR support. Uh, the internals, you have a Snapdragon 845. You get four gigabytes of RAM. It comes in variants of 64 to 128 gigabytes of storage. You have a 2900 milliamp battery. It supports wireless charging and it has Android 9 Pi as the operating system. The front facing cameras, you have two of them, both eight megapixels. One is a wide angle at f2.2 and the other one is a normal view at f1.8. And you can record 1080p at 30 frames per second as the max settings. And that special rear camera has a 12.2 megapixel lens with a dual pixel sensor, can shoot at f1.8 aperture, optical and electronic image stabilization, and can record at 4K at 30 frames per second. Let's go ahead and hop into these speakers. I'm gonna play a little bit of Into the Dead 2. And uh, I'm not going to talk for a second, just so you can hear these excellent speakers. Super loud. I would say they're right up there with the iPhone XS. There's nothing more entertaining than taking out a few zombies with a double barrel shotgun. Oh yeah. And so yeah, those speakers are excellent. And just looking at the phone here, the overall design with the frosted glass back, um, it just looks really nice. It's a lightweight phone. And I think the regular Pixel 3 is probably the best Android phone out right now just because of the size, the dual front facing speakers, the excellent camera, the easy, buttery smooth operating system and it has excellent battery life. This thing lasted me all day. I mean, I, I had it at full charge at seven o'clock in the morning, and I'd say about 8 p.m., 9 p.m. at night, I still had about 35%. Let's go ahead and jump in and take a look at some of the pictures I was able to get with this phone. Now, this is a front-facing wide-angle shot. As you can see, I can get all my son's friends in. This is a camping trip we took about a week ago, and uh, some of them look bum because this is the last day of the trip. And so we're walking to get some breakfast early morning, probably about 7, 30, 7 45 in the morning and as you can see uh, the camera really picks up the shadows really well and it keeps everything highly detailed and that's one thing that you want in a camera phone is to keep the details keep a high dynamic range and uh, and this is what it really does well it, it keeps everything sharp and in focus I love donuts here's a picture of donuts I know you love donuts pick one uh, and here's a uh, Donatello where it's everything's sharp in the foreground and then blurred out in the background and uh, this is probably the most impressive one where the night shot feature, which is coming out this month, I believe, uh, you can see that the normal shot is super dark. Night shot picks up all the details in a low light situation. So I really love this camera on this phone. I think that's the biggest selling point of a Pixel. And uh, you're not gonna be disappointed if you pick up this phone and just start snapping photos because you're gonna be really impressed with what this camera phone can do. And my honest opinion is that the smaller version is the best version. Uh, you get Android Pie right out the box and you're guaranteed updates for the next three years. And so overall, this is just a really good phone to get, uh, especially for the holidays, I would say. If you don't want one, maybe pick one up for a loved one because I think they're really gonna enjoy it and they're gonna have a lot of fun just taking photos with this phone and, uh, and just enjoying Android Pie as it is. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe, give me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the Pixel 3 and I'll see y'all in the next one. Take care.